worldwide and that can they'll know that it did put them in. So the fucking there in Northern Ireland because fucking Edinburgh, fucking Glencoe, fucking uh, Edinburgh, fucking Castle and that kind of Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Glencoe's is Pennycook, it's not Edinburgh, it's Pennycook. Edinburgh's barracks were Dreghorn Barracks and Redford Barracks, and one Scots moved from uh, Dreghorn Barracks right to uh, Northern Ireland, and they're just back for six months to uh, Cyprus. Trust me, I know. Well, I should fucking know, hope I do. We are in, I will. Listen, I'm not going to get technical with fucking barracks, I, just, I would just, like, pinpoint, like, fucking Dreghorn fucking up the road and that, Ken. Listen, I don't fucking stipulate and think, well, this is where it is, Ken. I just say, it's open top of the heat, darling. I wasn't even made. That's your foolish shit. That girl knows more about the ones you do for fuck's sake. I don't think your boy's in the fucking army at all. I just think you're making shit up. What? What? Well, okay then. Well, you're I is not, Ken, so you come fire on that, Ken, right? And uh, he's based there in fucking Belfast and that, uh, Ken. And uh, it's kind of, he's, he's, he's actually phoning and writing him and that, uh, Ken, and saying that it's getting quite nippy out there and that, uh, Ken, with the police and the fucking... Did I not just say that? When they were over in Cyprus, one of the boys' cars got blown up. It takes ten days from a letter to come from home down there. I know, I should be staying there. My husband's a sergeant there. You'll probably hear him snoring in the background. Um, I won't go down there and live. There's no chance. I don't. Yeah, Trevor, I hope your boy gets shot in the leg. We Elaine, yes. And you know yourself, there's so much that even the parents can't talk about. And even when you talk to your wains when they're earlier, they can't say too much. It's just... Oh, Broxy, Broxy. Excuse me, don't say that. Don't wish that on any child, man, regardless if they're old or not. But no. A bit, um, cool. Cool. <laughs> Just cool, is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Shut the fuck up, Nakin. But listen to what I'm saying, Nakin. I've, I've spoke my, my, my boy in the army, Air Northern Ireland, stationed there in Nakin. And how are you? Okay. How are you? Okay. Evan's okay. Evan's okay. That's what I get. I'll be fine. But you should know that because you were in the army. But what I was going to say to you, why did you tell me to shut the fuck up? That was quite rude. But anyway, you should know exactly because you were in that position too. Why did you say, oh, it's hell over here, blah, blah, and make you worry even more? No, I don't think so. But we are lame, aye. Listen, but because, let's say, I tell my boy... I don't want him to be in that situation, and I fucking told him, I told him, listen, no, and he goes, I want to be like you, da. no, you don't want to be like me, forget about the fucking army, forget about it, and by the fuck, he just went. Right, the wee chap's 22, right, would you rather be on, him be on the door and not having a job? He'll get to see parts of the country, the world that he won't get to see if he was on Civvy Street, so why, you should be proud of him. He's doing his fight for the country. We are in. This was before, long before he was 22, Dan, before he joined the army and that again. We had this discussion, like, many times, and we fell out many times. Even before he was 16, he wanted to be like his dad, and I said, no, it's not happening. And we used to fall out all the fucking time. It was a constant fucking argument. I know, but you're not sounding very proud of him. If he was my boy, I'd be proud as punch. So I would. But you don't seem as just as if... You know, I'd rather he did that than hang about the street on the door, taking drugs and getting into all sorts of trouble. So be proud of him, for goodness sake. Me, Elaine, listen, I'm proud of him, but I'm no proud of him what he'd done because he didn't listen to his dad, OK? I didn't want my boy to go in the army. Because I've already been there, I've seen it and done it. I didn't want my boy to go through that. But fuck's sake, man, fuck, he didn't listen. Ah, you're a fucking disgrace, I'm like, you're not proud of him. Of course you should be proud of him, fuck's sake. Well, so what are you saying there, like, you haven't spoke to him since he was about 16? That's fucking ridiculous. 
hey, I'm proud of my fucking son in the fucking army earning your fucking cunt of the room, by the way. But I wouldn't be proud and if you, I get a phone call, I get a fucking letter or some can chat my door and say, oh, well, you say I'd be scurny. Right? That's some you don't. Ricky, you just said a minute ago you weren't proud of him. You want to make your fucking mind up. You're a stupid old cunt. I mean, no wonder the army kicked you out the fuck. Fuck sake. Your boy's lying in his bed at night, right over in that country, lying there, thinking my daddy isn't even proud of me. He was a soldier. Elaine. Right, Trevor. I think that's just shocking people. I don't know about yours. He's no proud of his son who's in the army fighting for his country, but he's proud of his stepdaughter who went with an older Muslim man when she was underage for, for sex, and he can be proud of that. Whew. Tell me, I hope your boy's fat gets run out of the more about the army bucks, you prick. Right, hiya. Right, okay, right, I'll get back to you right now. That was two separate marriages, pal, so let's go fuck up with their you and what they did. What did they knew? Let's go fuck all day with me. I'm talking with my son at this time, in this fucking day and time and moment. So, fuck off. Wait a minute. But you're still saying it's okay for your daughter to go with a Muslim man, you know, when she was under the legal age for sex. You agree with that shit, but you're not even proud of your own son who's out fighting for his country? Fucking hell, mate. Go and jump out the fucking high flat window or something. Right, wait a minute, fucking hi who, fucking you who, fucking whatever you want to fucking call yourself on that, pal. Listen, pal, that was my first marriage. My, my daughter and my ex-wife has got fuck all the day with her dames. If my ex-wife allows her daughter... Listen, you're still getting on about it. You actually do fucking think it's okay, don't you? Like your stepdaughter went with an older Muslim man while she was under the legal age for their sex. Do you, you accept that shit? Fucking hell, no wonder your son went in the army to get away for you. This is some taboo shit. Fucking hell. Woohoohoo! Listen, what my ex manager was and my, my wains were. And how they get brought up. That's fuck all to do with me. That's the mother. Okay? I've passed on. I'm in another relationship, so I can't control two of them. Right, so you abandoned your kid because you're in your relationship? Fuck's sake, the plot gets better, Trevor, for fuck's sake. Why don't I like this fucking joint? Plot thickens. My goodness, but big bad cat, you said you weren't proud of him. And you're saying, oh, what happens if I get a knock at the door by the police or the military, right? Well, see if he was in Civvy Street, you could... Who abandoned who? Okay. Right, listen, yeah, you are right, you like, like your slurf. What the fuck are you talking about, you fucking bang? Honestly, is it a banger you're like? Because it sounds like a banger. Giving a fucking bun you, you are a banger. You fucking heat case shop. You still get together and... MK, how's about I come to your bit? Pump the life out you and then fucking wrap them up right on you. You fucking idiot. You see, what we got here in the shape of MK is a complete shit spanner. And big bad cat, you geriatric gimpster. Take your false teeth out, put them in the glass, take your hearing aid off and go to bed, you spastic. Oh, don't, please, sorry. So, at the end of the day, Big Bad Cat, are you proud of your son? Or are you not? Because you said you're not, then you said you are. What is the actual final decision? Or are you phoning a friend on this one? Me alone, yes, I'm proud, very proud of my son, but... It's a, it's a case of being proud, but... You don't want to be proud because you didn't want him to go there in the first place. So it's like a silent. No need to have a conversation about people's kids. What a bunch of fucking inbreds. I'm so glad I am from where I am from and I'm not from near you, cunts. Give me that you, you slavering prick.
Honest to God, listen to you, you fucking ball bag, sitting there on the couch with your fucking seatbelt on with your helmet and your fucking cranes. You fucking arsehole. Shut up. Oi, MK, you sound to me like you're subnormal. And whereabouts would you be from then? Oi, Morris Micklewhite, trying to talk like Michael Caine. Where are you from then? Where are you from? MK, you English bastard, fucking bull. Get the fuck, you're funny. You're fucking useless, fucking massacre, fucking useless, fucking funny man. I'm gonna fucking hump your woman and make her a Scot. Fucking bull, you're funny. You're gonna hump nothing. Couldn't even hump your mattress, you fucking old pissy bastard. Big bad cat, that's disgusting, because you said you moved on and you're in a, another relationship now and you're gonna have sex with other women. That's disgusting. Shame on you. Yeah, you know, Wayne, we are fucking minute, man. You getting mixed up with this stirred up. Mm. You actually hear the right conversation here and I can. Yes, I'm in a relationship. I have been for the last 15 years, darling. So I'm not jumping from relationship to relationship like fucking wee boots like yourself. Is that right, big bad cat? You're in a, a marriage. And you want to jump around spreading your wild oats? Well... Oi, Sparrow, you sound like you're really educated. You fucking sound crazy, yeah. Uh, where you from, you fatty dumb cunt? Well, man, you English fucking twat. You wait a fucking minute. I don't jump about, I don't. I eat the porridge and I've got the same woman ever. You said you were in a relationship, then you said you were going to do somebody else's woman. And I'm no wee boot and jump about relationship. Been married from coming up nearly nine years. Just, yeah, over nine years actually. So I wouldn't class that as jumping about in a relationship, you half wit. Jump about. We are in, we are fucking mad, darling. I don't jump about, darling. I've only had three relationships in my lifetime. She was at the fucking primary school. The second one went fucking tits up. The third one, yeah, fucking growing. I've got a boy, ten, a one. Yeah, he's had three relationships and they were all with his hand. So he just mentioned something about a primary school there, it was I right here, right? Fuck you, hell, what's going on over here? <laughs> no, you're just a fucking, you typical fucking Irish man, you're just a fucked up fucking fanny. Honestly, you're just a, honestly, you're a clut. You didn't even go to the balls to admit you're a clut, so fucking get the fuck. Hey, Stuart, where's that voice come from? I don't know what part of the staff you're from, but I'd love to know, Stuart. You'd love to know, would ya? Well, maybe I'm not going to tell ya until, until you tell me where you're from. Stuart, have you got boys and a bun? But she let's say, this, this the way I've heard you speak now, Ken. I think you've got a button. You've no got Boys, you would love the boys to fucking cry against you, so I think you're just a weak. Oh, now come on, Stur, tell us where you're from first. Come on, Stur, come on, be a geezer, be a spook, mate. Listen, MK, don't mug yourself off, you spastic. Okay, Stur, I won't mug myself off if you tell me to. I'll just copy what you say, Rana. Myself off then. I'll be a proper geezer. Yeah, my name's Stuart. Right, Trevor, you go back on the history and you listen to what you said. Right, because you fucking did say that, you tit. What are you all about primary schools and stuff for? You fucking idiot. Oh, come on, next. Right, okay then. Right, go back to your history. I can go back to my history. I can assure you. You go and fuck yourself, you fucking useless Irish fucking wanker, you ball bag. Honestly, I'll say to you, to say to sure, you've got a club. Look, go back in the history. Anybody can go back in the history there and listen to what you're saying. 
you've had three relationships and then all of a sudden came the words primary school. What the fuck's that about, like? Right. Open the, the history. Open it. Go on. You fucking bob. I get fucking bob. Get your wanker. Fucking. Honestly. Fuck's sake, man. Did you more know you do? Yeah, well, wait a Fuck's sake, man. You and you this fucking day release and fucking night. Listen, big bad cat. I know you're of limited intelligence, so I'll break it down for you. Are you a Cadbury's feast? I. Stella, please break everything down for me. Make it more clear, because I still don't understand what you're fucking getting at, you fucking mug. MK, I hope you've got a protect, uh, screen protector on your phone. If not, you need to get to the shop, because it's going to blow up with the amount of saliva that's coming out your mouth. Listen to the way you're talking. Eee. Listen, MK, seriously. You're a new one, Zello, I can tell. And you are a spastic. Well, Stuart, that was so fucking original. I'll have to write that one down, mate. Right, we'll go Stuart and MK together. Okay, Stuart, shut the fuck up. Take the sunglasses off and I'll punch you fucking stupid, okay? That's just a fucking speech. See, MK, you fucking butt out, you fucking Stuart. Hey, do you lick his ass? Do you have to get him? You're going to punch my face in, are you, big bad cat? Well, how are you going to do that when you can't even get up off your fucking wheelie commode? You fucking spastic. Oh, come on, Stuart, boy. Listen, you're just, a, you, you're just in a fantasy world. Yeah. See the chap at the door, and I bet you go, oh, who the fuck's that? I'm going to come in and chop. See the sunglasses? I'm going to chop to the back of your head, you fanny. So fucking bull. I've got to hand it to you, big bad cat. You've got a lot of fucking stamina to be able to come on Zello in the condition that you're in. I mean, I've heard you have a nurse come in a couple of times a day to make sure that you haven't pissed yourself. I she comes in. This day... Get my own nice and dry, so when I chop your door to punch your fucking lace out, yeah. That's a goal, that's a goal, by the way. Sturdy boy, your lights are punched out and that kind. And see my carer, she fucking tries to hold me down, but not, not. No, Stuart, you're wrong. He pisses and shits where he sits, that's just him. And he washes his jeans in the bath, that's when he goes for a bath, that's how he gets his clothes washed. His trousers are of yellow state, eh, yuck. They actually, they're jeans, but they look like chinos now, with the yellow stains on them. Oh, come on, really? Have you never done that before, Taron? Hey, you got a pair of jeans that are way bigger than that, you just lie in the bath and just to make them shrink to your skin and just like skin tight and that kind. Are you okay, honey? I've all done it. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> actually, you are all fucking retarded. Fuck this off. I'm going to a new channel. Come on, we've done it with Rhinos, we've done it with Levi's. We used to jump in the jeans, in the bath, with the jeans on, fucking cold water, to make them shrink to your body and that, to your legs and that kind. Jump out and stand there, let the water drip off them. Well, I'm glad you're going, MK, because you are a spastic of limited intelligence. You couldn't speak properly all the time you were on it. And that picture you got up of the uh, King George Cross, for me, says it all. It shows what your mentality is. You spastic. Talk some fucking push, don't you, man? Fucking hell. Good uh, morning, UK channel. What are you still doing up at this time in the morning, big bad cat? Fucking hell, man. You're still doing a double shift tonight. THC, you get to your fucking bed. You're talking about Levi 501's big bag cat, them shrink to fit jeans that you used to put on and sit in the bath and they'd shrink to fit your leg. But you were supposed to sit in water, a bath of water, not a bath of piss. And that stupid cunt jumped in the bath of him over his hands. That's why he's got brain damage now for Foxy. <laughs> oh, come on, Shuri. Right, listen. You, you're a jippo, so you don't know any better than I can. You jump out, 
you carry the van, you're running in a fucking big pond and you jump into it and I can but at least we were dignified. We jumped into a bit. You're dignified and your username doesn't go together, sunshine. Get the bunny down, man, batten down. Fucking glue poke. So, you bought a pair of jeans too big for you and you went in the bath and shrunk them? My goodness, just got the shot and buy a skinny pair. <laughs>